Danny Flex Center here for Seconds Out at the Peacock Gym with esteemed trainer, of course, Mark Tibbs. Mark, how you doing? Lovely, Danny. Thanks very much. Yourself? Yeah, I'm really good, thanks. Um, just wanted to get an update on all the members of your stable, really. I guess we'll start with Harvey Horn, if for no other reason than I saw him about five minutes ago. His girlfriend's had a nasty accident, apparently, off work for three months, but on the positive side, she's getting paid. So he'll be able to concentrate on his training, at least. How's Harvey getting on, and what's the next sort of steps for him? Yeah, Harvey's doing well. He's turning corners like he should do in his uh, in his development. He's uh, He's got an eight-rounder on uh, Saturday next week at York Hall, the 14th. So I'm looking forward to that, and um, hopefully he uh, puts on a good performance. He, he, they can move him on a bit, a bit more. You've got John Harding Jr., of course, who recently came up short in his first major fight, English title challenge, against Jack Cullen. A um, bit disappointed, I suppose, that he, he didn't win the fight, but gave a good account of himself, and a lot more people know about him now than did previously. So are there positives you can take from it? Well, John Harding Jr. put on a, a, a beautiful performance, as in like heart-wise and uh, dug deep. He dug deep against a very, very good technician in uh, in Jack Cullen. His he's range, his range, and he's uh, he's very well scored. So uh, uh, quite late notice that that fight was, but you know, not no excuses. He was beat by the better man, but he um, they booed us in and clapped us out, you know. But he's uh, better than the other way around, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but he's been up here since in. Uh, He's he's done it. He's done a wonder for his confidence that fight, and um, and he's uh, he's showing in in a couple of bits of sparring we've done. He's he's uh, he's learning. Yeah, he's learning. He's learning to relax and box a little bit more than than lock horns, if you know what I mean. He's got to box at the right times and, and fight at the right times, and he can do both. But he's got to, uh, he's got to know when to do what. Yeah. Another guy that's turning a lot of heads is, of course, Richard Riakpour. Got that really good win last time out against Chris Billum Smith. Close fight, but but seemed to do enough. And you know, the first kind of again another step up for him. He's never shied away from a challenge. Richard, he's had some real tough fights early in his career, come through them in in good style as well. Is it time for a British title shot now? And, and do you know what's happening with the British title with a Coley now challenging for the European? Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, Richard against Billum Smith was a great fight for him. Uh, his last three fights have been, you know, when he looks at his career, when he looks at his career in five years' time, he's come through them last three fights in, in good fashion, very good fashion. They've learnt, they've learnt a lot. He's learnt a lot from that, you know. And um, but not everyone's ready for them fights. But but Richard is, and uh, I thought he he beat Billum Smith. I watched it again. He beat him by three or four rounds. You know what I mean? And especially the knock knockdown. But Billum Smith was his was a, a very good, very good. Uh, Opponent, you know, I mean, he's very good, a uh, very good boxer, technician, and uh, he had the uh, the uh, the what do we call it? The um, pedigree, the pedigree, you know. But now, Richard, I expect him. Yeah, I'd expect him to fight uh, for, for 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 another title uh, before Christmas, and hopefully, it's a British title. I don't know what's going on with Akoli. Uh, don't know what he's doing, but um, I heard he might be moving on to European, but. Uh, I've seen Richard a couple of times. We we haven't spoke about opponents. Uh, we've had a couple of sessions, touch base. We have spoke about opponents. Sorry, <laughs> and, uh, and um, yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing him. Uh, looking forward to seeing him. I reckon next week we'll touch base again. Yeah. If it does turn out to be for the vacant British title, if Akoli does give it up because he's challenging for the European, you know the British scene, obviously. Who do you think's most deserving of being in the opposite corner to Richard? Uh, well. There's a couple up there. Um, there's a guy. There's a guy that should have fought a Coley last. Jack Massey. Yeah, I mean, that would be a good fight. He's a he's a that's a he's a good fighter. He's another one like uh, Billum Smith. He's a good technician, can bang a bit, and uh, has got heart. So that would make a, a good fan fan friendly f fan friendly occasion. You know what I mean? But that's a that's a fight. I've got every bit of confidence in, in Richard that he can win as well. But it ain't going to be easy. Yeah.